So how many other athletes do you do you mentor? You know, there's like been probably three or four athletes. Usually they come from my hometown. I'm from a little small town called Seaside, California, where ironically several athletes, notable athletes have come out of, you know, Herman Edwards was the next door neighbor. He played for Philadelphia Eagles and he was a Kansas City Chiefs coach back in the day. And now he coaches a football team out of Arizona, a college team. So there's been several athletes. Ron Rivera, who's the coach of of uh, the Washington uh, Commanders, are are um, are is from my hometown, and just a couple of years from uh, older than me. So somehow within the community, they know that I've written a book and that I'm really into this topic. And so you know, I'll get you know grandkids or nieces or uncles, and they'll say, "Hey, you need to talk to Cedric about your finances." And I do it for free. You do it for free. Yeah, Cedric. If you could give one and only one piece of advice to a young athlete regarding his finances, what would it be? You know, that one thing is, is that, you know, take your time. You know, you don't have to rush into investments that don't make sense. Also, find good mentorship. I mean, I am a product of four millionaire mentors, three which were black and one which were white. And two were from my hometown that poured a lot into me and gave me the right mindset around money. So... What I love about my relationship with Marquez is that there's no money exchange. There's no, I don't want money. In fact, I'll tell him, even for this interview, hey, let me pay you to come up here. Let me, pay, let me, let me pay your flight to come up here. He says, no, 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 I'll pay for it. So we have that kind of relationship. If you find the right mentorship that's not in it for the money, it's good to have somebody to bounce ideas off of. And fortunately, he has a financial advisor from Raymond James, and so I'm hoping that I'm in one ear and. You know, Preston is on the other ear and he can bounce ideas back and forth to make sure that he's making the right choice. So they got to surround themselves around people that aren't in it for the money and people that intrinsically cares about their success. And that's really the first step. And until you find people like that, don't do anything. Don't do absolutely anything. I mean, put your money into, the, into an account, buy treasury bills, you know, buy CDs, you know, Focus on your career. Focus on maximizing the income you can make as a as a uh, athlete. And then when you get out, take some time and learn some skills. Learn some things like Marquez has about his business, and invest your time into that and your money into that slowly. Yeah, you, know, you don't have to rush into this. So many of them are trying to become brands because brands grow their presence and it grows their income level. But you don't have to do that. You'll have plenty of time to do that. We just don't want to make you a statistic. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I was kind of shocked when he told me his second highest source of income was real estate because I've seen a lot of athletes, it would be, what is it, sponsorships. Right. So that's not anything you've kind of pushed him into. Well, he, he's going to get there. Marquez is like, he's only in this fifth year in the season mm -hmm. and he just finished his rookie contract when he played with Green Bay. And people are just starting to really see his talent. I mean, his speed, his ability. And so... I think that the those things are going to come, especially you know as he's played this season and how instrumental he was into them winning the game to get them to the Super Bowl. When two or three of their receivers were hurt, they had to rely on him, and he carried the team. So those are things that are going to come. But I love that it's real estate. I mean, he has the fortune of having two incredible parents that are into real estate, that know what they're doing, that respect him, and so they can work together as a team and they'll make sure that he he's all right. And so, you know, he expressed to me that he wanted to build a, a real estate empire and own multifamilies and commercial properties. And he and I believe he's going to do it. And so it's great that he has his parents to kind of help him. Um, but he's still, like I said, he makes his own decisions, which is great. So is this like a, a lifelong partnership or does it end when his career ends? How oh, no, work? no, no. I, I have mentors that I've had. You know, since college, I mean, this is just, like I said, this is my way of paying forward what my mentors had poured into me at no cost. 